What's going on guys? I'm back. I'm so glad to be back. Thank you for all the support and the comments on my last video. Guess who's back? Back again. Susie's back. Tell a friend. Oh my god, that's awesome. Yeah. Today's video is probably my easiest, most convenient, favorite hair routine. Um, and so I hope you enjoy the video. I'm going to bring you part two of my three-part hair routine video series. I mentioned in my last video that I style my hair or wash my hair or have three different hair routines depending on whether I'm working, whether I'm working early in the day, um, how dirty my hair is. Does it need to be washed? Is it refreshable? Um, can I go to work with damp hair that day, which I do a lot, or do I have to be somewhere where my hair should look com like completed and dried and, and whatever? So. I basically style my hair in three different ways. The first way is that I just do what I normally do in my videos, which is either wash or co-wash my hair and then apply my products in the shower and then let my hair air dry or diffuse my hair. Um, that's like the full hair routine. Today's video, uh, this this way of styling my hair might be my absolute favorite. And actually when you guys, uh, I got so many really nice comments on my last video. I really, oh, I can't even, tell you how much I appreciate people saying like we missed you like I almost feel like nobody even paid any attention to the video because the video itself was not great but anyway I did get a lot of comments saying Susie like I don't have time for this I don't know how you have time to do the full thing in the morning even going to work with damp hair and many of you said that you actually wash your hair the night before and style your hair the, the night before and this is something that I do do that I do do. If you are brand new to my channel, like brand new or newish to watching curly hair influencers on YouTube, you are going to miss that whole part where I show what I use to wash my hair and how I wash my hair and how I apply the gel in the shower to my soaking wet hair and how I create the curl clumps and all of that and how I get to this point where I've plopped my hair. Um, but a lot of people that watch these videos, like thousands of you, have seen me wash my hair already so many times. And I've been doing it pretty much the exact same way for like seven years with like slight variations. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put like one of those little links. I don't know if it's here or here. And at the end of the video in, in the description box, uh, a link of me washing my hair and plopping. If you don't know what plopping is, I have a, a video that's a minute and 23 seconds to show you how to do that. So I'm going to link those instead of showing that in today's video. And that's going to keep the video like a little bit shorter. We got in the shower. We either shampooed or co-washed or just, you know, added more conditioner to our hair and detangled our hair and put like the leave-in, you know, the stinky one that I really like that I was talking about. Um, the leave-in and the gel. Or you can use like a hair cream and a gel. Another side note, I was watching old videos and I feel like my hair looked better when I was using a hair cream. You plop your hair, here you go. So I got like my t-shirt on that I wear to bed all the time, 1983. See, look, that's when I was born. Can you believe it? Um, and the only thing right now that's a lie is that I put lipstick on. I penciled my eyebrows in too, guys. Like, normally I would not do that before I go to bed. So this is what I do before I get in bed. I take the plop off. Well, see? Here's my hair. I still have some clumps. Nothing crazy. Now, if I was styling my hair for the day, sometimes I put mousse in this hair just like this. And then I scrunch the mousse in and I put some clips in. But I'm not going to put mousse in right now. I'm going to do that in the morning. That's going to be part of me like refreshing the hair or just making it look a little bit better. So what I'm going to do right now, this part is optional, is I take these clips and I know you're thinking how the hell do you sleep with these clips in your hair, but I'm going to show you. So I just kind of like, you've seen me do this a million times too. I take some from the middle, right? And I clip it right here. I'm probably going closer to the front for this one than I would if I was leaving my hair house, sorry, with the clips in my hair and going to work. I'm just like piling it. I'll get even closer, guys. And like, I'm not being strategic. I'm not parting anything with a comb. I'm just piling some of this hair up on my head really high because it's going to help with volume. 
because if you go to sleep with wet hair, you're risking um, having flat hair. And normally, I, I would say I use two more clips, like one on either side, but I'm not gonna do that because I only have one and I can't be asymmetrical. So I'll get rid of this. So I have this like satin scrunchie. I also have a cotton scrunchie that I use. Doesn't matter as long as it's not super tight. And then I just take my hair, and normally I tip my head upside down, but I'm not gonna do that right now. I just take all my hair, very loosely, and I put it in a ponytail or a pineapple. I'll show you what I'm doing in a sec. My chair's too high. Right here, like right up, butted up next to the clips, like this, on the top of my head, like this, okay? I'm gonna try to move my camera so you can see better. So. That's what it looks like going to bed. Is it annoying? Kinda. <laughs> if you're not used to it. Uh, my pillow gets a little bit damp. I have taken another t-shirt that's not damp and like wrapped it around my head loosely or a microfiber towel and wrapped it uh, around my head loosely and went to sleep like that. My husband loves it. <laughs> and um, anyway, it does kind of fall off but it prevents my pillow from getting damp. Um, and by the time it falls up, off, my hair is like a little bit drier. So that that does work too, but I'm just gonna be honest. Sometimes I just go to bed with my hair damp. It's not crazy wet because I've been doing a few things, like an hour probably passed since I got in the shower, maybe a half hour, but it, it is what it is. Um, if you guys do this type of routine, if you have um, a solution to that, or if you do something differently and you feel it's easier to sleep um, like this, then please let people know in the comment section below. Um, I feel like you guys do a really good job of explaining some some things that I don't actually even think of, uh, and I learn from you as well. So please leave that in the comment section below. So basically, I just go to bed like this, and then when I wake up in the morning, <clears throat> my hair is still exactly like this. It's just considerably drier. Anyway. I'm gonna hit the hay and I'll see you in the morning. I'm just getting dressed and getting ready for work. So I'm gonna show you what I do to style my hair um, when I'm going to work and then the video will be over before you even know it because this is so easy. So I slept with my hair in that ponytail. I didn't wear a t-shirt wrapped around it. My pillowcase got a little bit damp. No big deal. I'm gonna take the clips out first and I don't wanna pull them out too hard. Okay, so I had three clips in there. You can already see like that it oh, created like a little bit of volume right here and I'm going to take this elastic out. Okay, so this is what my hair looks like. On camera it still looks really wet <laughs> now that I look at it, but it's it's not. It's, yeah, so you can tell it's not super wet, just the whole thing is damp. And so this is like the perfect hair to just style a little bit and go to work. Now, unfortunately, because I'm a terrible YouTuber, I forgot that I ran out of the mousse that I always use. I didn't have any silicone-free mousse. I only had two options, but whatever. For the, the purpose of today's video and me showing you how to apply the mousse, the mousse, the, the uh, brand of mousse and the type of mousse is irrelevant, I want you to try a silicone-free, alcohol-free mousse. This is the BioTerra alcohol-free uh, styling mousse. And I'm not gonna get into too many details about it because I probably will never use this again. They sent this to me like four years ago and it's still totally full. When I sleep with my hair in a ponytail on top of my head and I wake up like this, I feel like it is the most frizz-free my hair ever is. I really love this hair routine. So anyway, I just take like about that much mousse and I'm gonna apply it to my hair in three sections. So I'm just gonna let my hair fall down the front and I use the praying hands technique to kind of do the front. And I'll make sure I get a little bit on the sides. And then I'll push that back so you can see my face. And then I'm gonna use about the same amount, just right here, you know. And I already have hair products in my hair. So it's not like if I miss, miss a spot, there'll be nothing in it. It's really hard to do this on camera. Like three golf balls for my length hair. Okay, and like this, and like some in the back. And then all I do is this. I just kind of scrunch it in a little bit. And I'll do like a side part. 
Sometimes I scrunch up the back. Now I'm gonna try to show you my hair close up. So see right here, when I say bangs, I don't actually have bangs. I just mean like the shorter pieces or like the little bit of a fringe in front of my hair. I can tell by looking at it that it's still a little bit clumpy and there's no like weird kinks in it or places that are really dry. Like even this, even this long one like looks decent. This is gonna dry really good, I can tell. If it looked terrible or if it dried more than I thought it was going to, just based on how long I let it dry before I went to bed, and or if I end up diffusing it and the front looks really bad, I will take a wand. I don't have a wand. A curling iron. I don't know how to use a wand. A curling iron. Um, and I will touch up like just like three or four little pieces in the front to make it look better. But I can tell that I could just go to work with my hair like this, and it's going to dry and look good. Like who ever thought in a million years like when I started the curly girl method and my hair was like so dry and frizzy, who would ever think that I could go to work with my hair like damp and have it look good? But I'm telling you, it does. Um, this is it. Like this is the end of my hair routine. When it dries, it looks better than when I diffuse it. This is the way I like to wear my hair. It is so easy. It is so quick, as you can tell. Um, but for the purpose of today's video, I'm just going to go off camera for a second and diffuse my hair and then I'll come back and show you what my hair looks like and if I have to touch it up I'll do that on camera. The only thing I want to tell you about diffusing my hair is that when I do it I always do the roots first like hover it around my roots and do like close to the roots even underneath I'll just lift my hair and dry underneath and then I do the ends at the very end and that is because you don't want to risk like over drying the bottom of your hair. This is exactly what my hair looks like every day, pretty much every day, um, with the exception of every once in a while I have a bad hair day. Um, but this is like my wash and go hair, I did diffuse it, but it looks very similar. When it air dries, I would say it looks just slightly better because I'm not touching it as much. I feel like a few years ago I would have looked at my hair like this and thought it was messy or like I, I didn't feel like it was perfect enough or whatever but I just love my hair like this. I don't care if it's a little bit messy. I get a lot of compliments on it um, and maybe part of your problem with your hair is just that you have these like unrealistic standards of, of having your hair look perfect all the time because of you know watching YouTube and only seeing uh, our hair when it's you know perfect indoor hair. So what I will do if I went through the whole styling process and I think that my hair looks great and I just absolutely can't stand like the pieces in the front of my hair. Sometimes they dry kind of straight. I'll take a curling iron that's roughly the same, you know, diameter as my regular curl pattern and I'll curl a couple pieces in the front of my hair. It's hard to tell on the viewfinder, but like see like some of this stuff is straight. I don't even know if I would bother with that. I would just kind of stick it in my hair. Um, but like this, that's like a little wonky looking, right? I'll just take that and I just do one of these. If you had a wand, you could make it look more, more natural. And I'll just do like one of those. Again, my hair was fine today. I wouldn't have done this today, but I just said that I would show you, so I'm showing you. So I'll do like that piece right there and I'll do like one piece right here, like this whole big section like this, watch. Actually, these, uh, this is like two different layers in here and I don't even care. So like that. Turn it off, that's all that I will do on days that my hair just doesn't turn out the way I want it. And it just kind of elevates the overall look of my hair. But anyway, guys, I hope you liked this video. I hope it was helpful. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it and a big old thumbs down if you didn't like it. Subscribe to my channel and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.